Nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him a sour. Another Sours episode? So soon? Well, we felt like we did such a piss poor job the first time that we thought, you know what, let's pick some more and give them another shot. Here in Grand Rapids, Michigan, we have a little brewery called Founders. Maybe you've heard of it? Well, I chose their little striped sour because if they can't do it right, who can? Jason, with great sour comes great responsibility. Which is why I chose a raspberry sour ale for my beer to win the day. After all, raspberry is my favorite fruit flavoring. But enough talk, it's time to get soured up. I could have gone with the safe bet like Jason, but instead I decided to try harder, which is why I brought Distill Brewery's Lynbrook. Named after the founder's family farm, this sour ale hosts a number of flavors, including raspberry and lemon, thanks in part to the added raspberry puree. And did I mention, it's fuchsia! You definitely get raspberry on this. I mean, like the sour is like a, it's sour, but it's sweet. Almost in the same time for me. It's much more sour than I was expecting. But yeah, it, it, it feels more balanced out than the other sours yeah, we tried Yeah, it's like you get that like tartness, but then like that raspberry there is there as well. I mean, it's almost, it almost doesn't taste like beer, almost to me. It's like, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, mm. it's very light and it's very bubbly as well, so. Yeah, really, really bright, you know. Mm. It's a good way to describe it. I feel like it did a really good job, it's probably the win. Well, be that as it may, my beer's next. We'll get this out of the way, we'll score it, and then we'll get to the real beer. I stacked the deck this week by selecting Founders Green Zebra, a watermelon Goza style sour ale. Introduced as a short run for Grand Rapids Art Prize Artist Series. However, the brew became so popular, it is now in regular production. I suggested we give Green Zebra the win now to save time but Lucas insisted we continue. It's time for this sour to show its green stripes. Wow. Right off the bat, it's very um, odiferous. It smells very uh, watermelony. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a Jolly Rancher, a watermelon yeah. Jolly Rancher. Yeah. It's quite sweet, and I thought the other one was sweet. I, it's been a while since I've had this, and I obviously never had it I, like, from a critical standpoint. But I, I just forgot like how much watermelon is there. Not so much like the sourness isn't like it's barely noticeable. I think because the other flavors all blend so well together. At least compared, especially after like what we just had. I mean, yeah. that beer was. And I'm noticing it says sea salt on it too, which is weird because mm -hmm. you can kind of taste that mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. Well. I can't really say that it did any better than my beer, though. I, th I This one's going to be tough. Uh, honestly, this one's going to be tough. But what do you say? We score them? We'll find out? We'll score them. Well, we thought ice cream beer was close, but this Sours episode is even closer. And guess what? Both of them ended up on the legendary beer board. So Jason, a 4.01 and a 4.02. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's talk about your beer with the green zebra. You know, we, I've had this before and I just still can't believe how much more pronounced the watermelon is. And I, I don't know, is it is a seasonal base or is it just coming through, coming from the Lindbrook to that? But either way, you know, it's such, the two styles are such an interesting contrast, but I just love that, that fruitiness that we got, that sea salt adds that nice, after to it and it's it just it's a good beer yeah it's really well balanced it's got kind of more of a, a creaminess and a thickness to it whereas this was a little bit more effervescent and bubbly mm -hmm. and i also you know personally i don't really like watermelon that much at least not real watermelon but this again was like a watermelon jolly rancher so it was much more sweeter than i was anticipating and a little less sour than i had hoped uh let's move on to lindbrook and pucker up. I mean, that thing was just like tart in your face, and it was, it was, gosh, like we were joking about because I've never, I haven't seen a beer that color, but we were joking about like it looked like a wine or something like that. But it, yeah, I mean, it was almost like drinking Juice. something like that. It was like completely different than anything I've ever had before. 
Well, and honestly, my enjoyment, my per personal satisfaction of both of these beers was the same. So what, what it came down to for me was when I think of a sour or when I want to enjoy a sour, what am I thinking about? And what edged it over for me was the fact that this was sour. When they say lemon, they really mean it's going to be making you pucker. And I did. I mean, it, it's an experience. And it, it takes me back to the days yeah. of the Troll Tonga, which I Ooh. enjoy. Not quite as good, though. Yeah, maybe you can, you can start off with Zebra. You can work, work your way up to Lindbrook. And unfortunately, I have to concede. Yes! Sir. Win. That makes Wild Sour Series Lindbrook by Distill Brewery the winner. That's the one I chose. So I win, basically. Well, that's it for this challenge. We got to get out of here before things turn even more sour. But with that, we want to say thanks for watching. You can always check us out on Facebook. Just search Battle of the Beer and on Twitter at BOTB underscore show. Hey, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure you click that little bell icon because that's going to notify you every time we release a new video. And that way you'll be sure to join us on the next Battle of the Beer.